Hey y'all, it's your girl Trish. Welcome back to my channel for another video. I know I have not done a makeup tutorial in a good minute, but your girl haven't been in the mood of doing makeup, so I just was doing everything else, but I wanted to bring you guys a makeup look using my very own lashes. And if you guys don't know what my box look like, this is what she looks like. And I am wearing my style Lux Life. Um, if you guys have not checked out my business page yet, I will have the name somewhere up here, somewhere, and I will put like a little picture right here of my, uh, my business Instagram. But this is the look I did. I did a no cut crease look because if you guys know, I'm always doing a cut crease. So I wanted to come to you guys with a no cut crease look and I did something orange, something neutral. Uh, if you guys want me to bring back the colorful looks, just let me know down in the comments and I will gladly bring them back because I actually miss planning colors, but this is the look that I wanted to do. And I'm also wearing my lip gloss on my lips. This is in the color Honey. I have five lip gloss colors. I'm coming up with two and I'm coming, um, I will be having new lip gloss labels on my tubes as well. So check out my site, purchase from me. I will include my link down in the comment section and I'll always, not in the comments, but in the description box. And I'll, I'll, I'll also put it on the screen so you guys can go and purchase, okay? Cause these glosses, my gloss has been selling really, really good and my lashes have been selling as well. So you guys need to go copy y'all some while, you know, I still got some in stock because I'm slowly like going, slowly, slowly going, you know, but it's only up from here with my business. So yeah, this is the look that I'm doing. If you guys want to see how I got this look, stay tuned in, keep watching, check out my uh, my website and my it's my business Instagram to see all the stuff that I'm coming up with to keep up with me and my updates on my business. And of course, everything that I use for this makeup look will be down in the description box, as well as um, my lash style, my lip gloss color that I'm wearing, and my website. And be sure to subscribe to your girl, comment like the video share the video and everything and i'll see you guys in my next video yeah hopping right into this my i already have my eyebrows and my um, base done i will be using the james charles palette and the first shade i'll be taking is this dark brown color called no beans and i'm gonna put that in my crease and like i said this is a no cut crease look so we're not gonna be doing no cut we're not cutting no crease in this video not not today not in, not in today's tutorial So the next shade I'll be taking is called 10% Off. It's like a light brown orange shade. And I'll be using that to blend out that um, the first shade that I put down. I've really been feeling these no cut crease looks. So I really wanted to try it out and you know, and see, you know, see how, how it will turn out. Of course, it's not perfect, but we're going to get there. We, gonna, we definitely going to get there. And I'm, now I'm just blending those two shades together. So more so it can kind of like, you know, kind of smooth out a little bit. Was looking a little bit too harsh so now I'm taking some of this black called spooky and I'm gonna use that to define my the outer portions of my eyes I know I was gone for a little minute too but I was taking a little break from YouTube because I was just putting out so much content and working and working and working and I needed to like try to like get ready for my launch day for my brand as well so that's why I was gone for a little minute but you know couldn't be gone for too long couldn't be gone for too long Now that I'm done blending that, I'm going in with my lid shade, and this shade is called 518. It's like a yellow-orange shade. It's really, really pretty. Um, I was really going for like a, um, a orange, a orange brown look, so that's why I picked this color. And so now I'm just packing that on with this flat blending brush, and I'm trying to make sure that I um, blend it into the browns that I used. So yeah. Looking at this now while I'm editing, this could have came out a little bit better had I, you know, kind of dragged the orange out a little bit more. But it's okay. We live and we learn. We live and we learn. The um, eyeshadow still came out looking really cute. So, yeah.
Now I'm just packing on, I'm just packing on some more of that color onto my lid. And now I'm just taking my blending brush and I'm trying to like blend it into the brown a little bit, but still not take away too much from the color. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. So now I'm gonna use a little bit of glitter. I'm gonna pack on a little bit of gold glitter in the inner portions of my eye. And the glitter I'm using is from this um, online boutique called Cutie Pop Glitzy Cosmetics. I just wanna just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. I'm gonna do my liner off camera, but I will come back and show you guys the lashes that I'll be using. It's from my um, my brand, and it's in the style Lux Life. It's one of my favorites, and that's the like I said, this is the lash that I'll be using for this look. So now that it's on, we're gonna hop right into the face. Um, as always, I will be using my Wet n Wild face primer. And I was trying to, I meant to show you guys my foundation before I applied my foundation, but I forgot. And so I ended up showing you guys the foundation that I use after I had put the foundation on. But you guys are going to see what I mean. Um, the foundation I used was my Maybelline Matte Foundation in the color, what is this? Deep Browns. And then I mixed it with the Morphe Foundation in the color five F5.60. And I'm just using that with my with my um, foundation brush, and I'm gonna follow that with my um, beauty blender. Yeah, I be forgetting to bring my lighting down a little bit on my ring light because it kind of makes my you know it kind of makes my stuff look a little bit too light, and it kind of washes me out a little bit. So that's why the foundation may look like it's a little bit lighter than me, but it's not. It matches my skin tone perfectly. Um, usually, when I'm matching my foundation, I try to match match it to my chest because my um, dark my neck is darker than the rest of my body. So um, yeah. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going in with my Revolu my Revolution foundation in the color. I think this is F F15 or F16 is one of them, and I'm just um, blending that out into my skin. I like to use this as my highlight because the co the concealer and the foundation is literally the same consistency. I just get the foundation because it's a bigger bottle and it saves me money. So yeah. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild loose powder and this is in the shade Dark and I'll be using this to set my highlighted areas. I found that with this powder, it comes out better when I use a brush. So I stopped using my Beauty Blender with it because it was it came out looking a little funny whenever I used the Beauty Blender. So I found that it's better when I use a brush to set this powder into my skin. Now I'm going to my Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and I'm taking this dark brown shade in the color Kenya 
and I always use this color or this eyeshadow shade as my contour because it's just the perfect contour shade for me and I'm mad that I'm hitting pan because this is literally what I use this palette for <laughs> so I might still have to go and get another one so yeah I know it may look a little harsh right here, but trust me, when I go in with my foundation, it blends everything together. And now I'm taking my powder. Um, this is the Black Radiance True Complexion Powder, and I used to shade Coco Kisses. And this is what I was saying when I go over my face with my powder, everything blends in together. So, yeah. And I'm taking this flesh tone shade called Punch Me. And I'll be using that as my brown bold, um, my brown bone highlight. It's just a matte, a matte shade. And I'm just putting a little bit of mascara on my um, my bottom lashes. I usually go in with like some black liner on my waterline, but I did not want to do that in this uh, for this look. But we're going to go into this blush palette from Julia's Place. And I'm taking this orange shade called Tau. And I'll be using that as my blush for this look. And I'm just going to set my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I love this spray. It's my Holy, my holy Grail. And I'm just, you know, spraying that all over my face. And the highlight I will be using is from this um, online boutique called Lolly Cosmetics. And I'm in, I'm using the shade Wet. It's the, like the perfect golden bronze highlight. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite highlighters. Kind of just melts right into my skin. So that's why I really, really like this one. Now for my lips, I'll be taking this black lip liner um, from Nika K. It's just a black lip liner, and I'll be lining my lips with that. Lately, that's what I've been doing. I'll be using MAC Velvet Teddy on my lip, and I'm going on top of that with my lip gloss in the color Honey, and I'm using that to top it off, and it just adds a little bit more color to my lip as well. And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Um, be sure to check out my... Um, my website like i said it will be listed down in the description box it's also on the screen check it out follow me on my business page check check out my lashes and my lip glosses and that's it you guys please do not leave without liking the video leaving me a nice little comment and subscribing to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video